What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from OneForEntrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landed here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a question that I know a lot of people have. I know it was one of the first questions I had when I got started creating online businesses and that of course is how do I create my own website? I actually don't think that creating your own website is the first step in the process uh, when coming up with your online business idea, but we won't talk about that here today, but we will talk about how you're going to be able to create your own website. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking this out and this is on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our pages. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit so that you can earn income online. As I said in the introduction, I want to talk a little bit about how you can create, go about creating your own website. I know again, as I, when I got started in creating online businesses, the first thing I started thinking about was what kind of website I'm gonna design, what is it gonna look like. As soon as I have my website in place, traffic is just gonna be coming in, it's just gonna be amazing, it's gonna be perfect, etc. I put a lot of effort and energy towards creating my website. So I want to share with you guys some of the some of the processes that I went through in, in developing websites throughout the years. Uh, see whether or not uh, you find one that works best for you. I know the very first one, of course, was going out there and finding some web developers. I went online and, and searched some outsourced networks to see if I can find people who are really uh, building some nice, fancy websites. I did. We actually launched, uh, my buddy and I launched one of those Groupon style sites. And that was one of our very first online businesses. So what we did was uh, we created this site where we would have to go out and find merchants to advertise on our site. And by them advertising on our site, we received a commission for it. Getting that website developed was a lot of fun. It was very expensive. Uh, I think upwards to about $10,000 once it was all said and done for the complete development of the website to have all the functionality that we desired, uh, that we needed for our customers. So it was pretty expensive. Uh, however, I would say that we had a very unique website. We were at the, as I mentioned before, at the, basically at the, I guess we, we, we always had to wait for the developer. So if the developer was busy, if the developer had other things going on, we could find ourselves waiting some days for an update. Another style of website that I worked on was uh, things like Shopify or Wix. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these platforms. Uh, Shopify would allow me to, you know, create like an online store if you had products. If you were drop shipping, for instance, we actually have a a whole series on how you can uh, utilize Shopify and drop shipping together. If you haven't checked out that uh, blog and, and video, make sure you go over to our website and check it out. It's very informative. Uh, you can do a lot with drop shipping. However, uh, I can't say I had a lot of you know a lot of success with Shopify, mainly because of the fact that the products that I was sharing didn't necessarily fit the Shopify Shopify platform. I know that if you know if you have a business where you're making candles or soap or what have you. Um, then a, a website like Shopify can do very well because you have an e-commerce store right there in place. I mentioned Wix. Wix is a free website tool that you can use uh, to build websites. I know they've been doing a lot of advertising here lately. I have to be honest, I, I didn't get a lot of satisfaction from Wix. I thought it was very, I would say, immature. Is that a good word to say? But very, you know, it didn't give me all that I needed. Uh, I actually did like, a Wix review. Uh, try to link to that review down below as well. If not if it's not down below, just go over to our website, wifientrepreneur.com. Uh, search for Wix. You'll see the Wix online review that we did, and there's some great information there for you as well. 
However, out of all those things, uh, what I said, we paid $10,000 for a custom designer. We had to wait for him to do updates when we needed it. Shopify was good if you had an e-commerce store, but I don't have an e-commerce store. I have a, a store that I have a I have something else going on. It's not an e-commerce store. That's not what we're doing here at the Affiliate Marketing. And Wix. I thought Wix just didn't give me the oomph that I needed. Now, it was only recently when I discovered Wealthy Affiliates that I actually get involved in WordPress, using WordPress as a tool to create uh, websites. Uh, and I didn't know, but there are actually two different WordPress websites. There's WordPress.org, which I believe is the free version, and then there's WordPress.com, which is the paid version. I mean, that's kind of tricky, right? But nonetheless, um, through Wealthy Affiliates and learning how to utilize uh, search engine optimization, attraction marketing, I was able to really see the power of WordPress, using WordPress as a way to design a website. And what's really cool about WordPress, and we've talked about it in the past, is that WordPress allows you to integrate with things like Shopify, those e-commerce stores. You know, more than likely, you're in a position where you're either selling products online or you know, you have a feeder where you have a nicely designed website and you're sending people to it and then from there they're going to like your network marketing company or they're going to whatever other information somewhere else that you're, you're marketing and promoting. Uh, however, all those things can be done through a good WordPress blog. Uh, you're able to uh, have a nicely designed website, you can send traffic to your website and if you didn't want to have a, uh, an e-commerce store on your website, you can send them somewhere else, just as we do in affiliate marketing. Some of the links that you'll notice throughout our website, uh, throughout, you know, even the descriptions below, will send you to additional information that may not necessarily be hosted on my website, it may be hosted elsewhere, but I'm affiliated with it in some form or fashion. And again, the updates, the real-time updates. I'm currently in the process of trying to 10x everything, <laughs> uh, the Grant Cardone method, where basically I'm shooting video every day, I'm posting blogs every day, basically just maximizing the effort in this time that I have. And with that, I need to I need to move quickly. I can't I can't wait for someone to come and update it. I need to either have my team be the ones updating it on a daily basis, uh, or I need to be able to update it as needed. So these are some things to just consider uh, moving forward when you're thinking about how to create your own website, You know whether or not you wanna spend a lot of money, whether or not your website needs more than just a store interface, or if it needs a little bit more articulation and conversation uh, to, to really share your product and service so that people can understand it. And um, whether or not that you know you, a blog can give you some of these things, I talk about a blog a lot. I do, I do, I do, because of the fact that I know it's going to be good for you. No matter what kind of marketing strategy you guys are working on, blog, conversational type articles, things that allow your customers to quickly get their questions answered, is going to help you move faster. Uh, to the goals in which you're looking to achieve. So uh, if you guys have never started a blog before, I have information below. You can join our community. We have a step-by-step -step program that has, helps you learn how to create a blog. We have a step-by-step -step program how you can use utilize WordPress. We have just about everything you need inside of our community, inside of wifientrepreneur.com. So if you have not checked it out, please do so. In our next video, I'm actually gonna talk about what I believe the, the first step is to creating your online business. Actually, I'll give you my step-by-step -step guide to creating an online business in the next video. So I look forward to talking with you guys again real soon. So until we talk again, take care and peace.